a bit raining outside, so if you hear any background fizzle, it's not me. It's the rain for a change. Um, today we're gonna do a kind of a basic lemongrass fish sauce chicken. Uh, will be part two to this next week, or like what to do with leftovers, but I'll get to that later. Um, <clears throat> ingredients for that lemongrass, obviously, you want a lot of it. Um, grate it up, I have about five stalks worth. I'm gonna take this bowl and mix all my ingredients together. And the rest in the bowl. Ooh. Okay. Second ingredient, good quality fish sauce. Uh, quite a bit. Just have all this. The rest of these ingredients are optional, but I think necessary to do whatever you want. I'm gonna use a little palm sugar. Um, this is what we have around here, these parts. You can use white sugar, regular sugar. You don't have to use sugar, but I feel as though it helps caramelize the chicken when we will cook it later. Ginger, this is very, very optional because you don't want more ginger flavor coming through than the lemongrass. You definitely want the lemongrass. Um, Garlic, a couple of cloves, again, not too, too much. And then the big chili, you can put that in as well. Um, spoon, all this in here. Give it a stir. Now for the chicken. Um, pour all this over your chicken. Now here's where I'm going to get a little <clears throat> judgy on uh, my fellow Americans. Uh, please, for the love of God, Step away from the bone skinniest chicken breast that tastes like nothing at all. Please embrace the less expensive, at least in the US, the less expensive cuts of um, dark meat chicken with skin on. And I know so many Americans who are like, oh, well, you know, skin is not good for you. Here's the thing. I'm gonna get all, I am going to get all super smarty pants on you right now. Right here. Hi, my name is Caroline. I am a certified holistic nutrition consultant and certified wellness coach. Yeah, I really am. I know. Can you believe it? I'm a first class smuggy pants. You need a little you need a combination of carbohydrates, protein, and fat in your diet for your body to uh, live happily. Uh, if you have a little less of each one, your body lives a little less happily. Fat is the source of essential fatty acids, and they all, also helps dissolve vitamins A, vitamins D, vitamins E, and if those vitamins cannot be absorbed in the body, then you end up with, you know, some minor issues that could lead to major ones. Um, you could have like really dull hair and start to get bad skin and just feel kind of like bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh, Please just, just step out of your comfort zone for a minute. There's something, there's nothing better than little crispy chicken skin, you know, little dark meat. It just tastes so much better than white meat chicken, which is really boring. Anyway, take off my smarty pants hat for the moment. Okay. Pour it over the chicken, give it a little massage. Put it in the fridge for eight hours, best overnight, and I'll see you mañana. Ha! <clears throat> so it's the next day and I'm kinda hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my um, pot, wok, pan, skillet, whatever. Screaming hot, so we can go ahead and brown all this delicious chicken on all sides, let it cook through, and then we get to eat. Let's do that now. All right, when it's hot enough, go ahead and put your chicken pieces in, skin side down. Let it rip. And I say we go ahead and brown all over. Let's do this little bit of sugar I put in the marinade. Let's go ahead and remove the set to the side. Let that cool before you dig in. While I'm waiting for that to be cool enough to eat, I'm seasoning my wok. What you should do between each usage. That way it keeps it more or less long. I can no longer wait. I'm really hungry. I've been looking forward to this since yesterday. Um, I'll go ahead and go ahead and dig in. Mmm. And this is why. This is why you want to use a better quality fish sauce for this. If you use a lesser quality one, the remote would be just a little too pungent. This one's perfect. 
So tune in next week where I'm going to show you what to do with leftovers, if there are any. There may not be because one of my favorite things to do is to stand in front of the fridge eating cold chicken. <sighs> See you next week. Bye.